What band were you slow to realize was awesome? As in, you liked a single song, but took a while to realize it wasn't a one-hit wonder. Talking Heads The 80s new wave thing didn't take at first, but it gradually grew on me. Tears for Fears the Cure. I found them to be okay until I listened to their album Disintegration fully. Now I love that album and can listen to it on repeat all day. Totally ashamed to say Fleetwood Mac. Everyone in high school loving it and I was a contrarian. Actually didn't really listen until my 50s and discovered they indeed were awesome. Jimmy Eat World. I had only heard the middle for a long time. Management. Only knew of kids and electric feel. Turns out they have one hundreds of more amazing tracks. Cage the Elephant. What really blew my mind was that I loved like three of their songs but thought each one was from a different band. Massive Attack and Porter's Head, new songs from 120 Minutes and other shows. Amazing stuff. The Eels. The Neighborhood and the Arctic Monkeys. Iron Maiden. So many amazing deep tracks. Aha, Take On Me isn't their only good song and the vocal prowess of them is really underrated. News. I always liked them, but it wasn't until I properly started studying music and composition that I realized how genius their music actually is. The Killers. Great band on so many levels. Weezer, mostly because they take their time releasing songs. So it took me a while but I love all their work. Beck System of a Down I really like two of their songs Chop Suey and Toxicity but D.I.D.N.T. realize it was the same band. Eventually I figured it out and now they are my favorite. The band. I love their biggest hit The Wait for decades, only to fall in love with their discography a few years ago. Ramstein. Only knew Du Hast and Foyer Frey for the longest time, but then I recently discovered Radio which put me on a year-long Ramstein binge. They're now one of my favorite bands. Steely Dan. Heard their stuff on the radio as a kid but did not embrace the brilliance of their songs till much later. Deacon Blues is one of my favorites. Lord, funny enough, I hated Royals, but I discovered Tennis Court and Team. I finally checked out Pure Heroin after Melodrama already released and absolutely fell in love. Opeth. I'm not normally a fan of death metal but oh my god if they don't make the most beautiful intricate melodies in their music. Gorillas. Cake. I think we all heard the distance. But honestly the album was killer through and through. Especially for playing. I feel like the singing style pushes a lot of people away from them. Niles Barkley. He had a big hit with Crazy. I didn't realize until later how much other good stuff he has. Flaming Lips. I live in OKC and only listened to the popular stuff for the past 25 years. This past year has been mind expanding. The Mars Volta. The Smiths. I didn't really like their most famous song, There's a Light That Never Goes Out. However, the rest of their stuff is awesome to me. Once I gave it a chance. 
Foo Fighters. I like some of their songs, but never really pay too much attention to them. Now it seems like I can't get enough. Radiohead. Now they're one of my favorites. Vanessa Carlton. Her cutesy thing kinda had to grow on me before I realized she slaps hard. No Lita Fairy Tale is a banger and I'll die on that hill. Jamiroquai. I heard Canned Heat because of Napoleon Dynamite and years later realized the whole discography was gold. My all-time favorite band to this day. Pink Floyd. Apparently they have more songs than their classic, We Don't Need No Education. Soundgarden. I knew a couple songs and I decided to explore more of their catalogue. Was not disappointed. That led me to Temple of the Dog. Audio Slave and Chris Cornell's solo work. Panic. At the disco. I used to only know them from the song I write sins not tragedies. I only got into their other music two years ago and now they are my favorite band. Melvins. That's some weird heavy shit. Little Big. You might have heard Skeeby D. But they have a ton of catchy songs. And their music videos on YouTube are a fucking mind trip. Dream Theater Amazing Band. Oasis for me. I slowly started getting into them at a young age. The 1975 Portugal The Man, Feel It Still was off of their eighth album. Their first seven of Fire Fire Fire. Tool Toto I had heard Africa since before I remember but I hadn't heard any other songs for way longer than I should have. Pixies always knew of Where Is My Mind, but their whole catalogue is amazing. Soft Cell. So much more to Mark Harmon than the Tainted Love cover. It's not even the best song on non-stop erotic cabaret. Linkin Park. Like anyone born in the early 2000s, I grew up listening to Numb. But one day I checked out their other stuff and they are amazing. Ripchester Bennington Bjork I'm ashamed to say. As a kid all I'd heard was quiet. Then realized that not even the rest of that album sounded like that. Let alone the rest of her catalog. Fleetwood Mac. Knew some songs growing up. Then in my 20s I realized that Rumors is arguably the best album ever. MGMT The Beatles. I was young and edgy. Had a stereotype that old music isn't good. Liked a song from a mo? Then I dug and boy I found gems screw me for thinking bad about old music. A lot, actually. Most recently is probably Tame Impala and Todd Rundgren. Rage Against the Machine. What the fuck took me so long? Michael Bolton. I celebrate the guy's entire catalogue. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe for more content.